Hey, science lovers, it's Becky with Lab Rat Academy, and I'm hiking along this road, and I saw this really weird stuff on the ground. It actually looks like tiny little worms. Look at those little things. And I was wondering, what are these little things? And did you know that a pine tree has pine cones, but they have both male and female pine cones? The ones that you're normally used to seeing are these ones right here. These are the female pine cones. But these things need to be fertilized by male pine cones, which have the pollen inside of them. And so those ones are these little things right here. These are the male pine cones, and these produce the pollen. These male pine cones hang out right here underneath the branches. The reason for this is so that the wind can disperse this. It's through wind dispersion, but the pollen from these male pine cones goes all the way up to the top of the trees way up there to another tree because they don't self-pollinate. They'd have to go to another pine tree to pollinate the female pine cones to produce the seeds to be able to produce new baby trees. An interesting fact is that a pine tree is a gymnosperm, which means it doesn't have flowers. Flowering plants, like these guys over here, are called angiosperms, and they produce flowers to be able to reproduce, and they need pollinators to be able to send their pollen from one plant to another. But this right here, this is a gymnosperm. A gymnosperm does not have flowers, and they have, in this case, pine cones. And I saw the funniest looking thing as I was walking down this trail. It looks like the tail of squirrels just squashed all the way along this road. And what it was, was pine cones, those female pine cones that have been run over by cars. And so when they get run over by cars, they look like tiny little squirrel tails. <laughs> Science is so amazing. I hope you guys have a beautiful day. God bless. Bye-bye.